Hey guys, Ponce here on the PBE, here to talk to you guys about a number of item balance changes. Specifically, Gwinsu's Rage Blade has been changed uh, to an extent, and uh, this thing right here, new item, Blood Razor. So that's a replacement for the old Devourer slash Sated Devourer thing. Uh, so let's just start off with that. Let's look at the stats here. Stalker's Blade, Blood Razor. So Stalker's Blade is my, you know, the base item type. And, uh, you know, th this stuff is basic in terms of the lifesteal versus monsters, mana regen, and jungle. That's your basic um, jungler item setup thing. Uh, aside from that, though, it comes with 40% attack speed and this unique passive. Basic attacks deal 3% of the target's maximum health in, unique, er, in uh, bonus physical damage, max 75 versus monsters and minions on hit. And then there's all that stuff about chilling, smite, blah, blah, blah. Don't need to worry about that. Does that look familiar? Madrid's Blood Razor. It's a, basically, it's a crappier, well, it's crappier because it's cheaper, but it's it's a budget Madrid's Blood Razor. Um, so, I guess League of Legends has just, you know, spent all this time, you know, innovating, etc., etc. They just come full circle. It's like, well, I guess we kind of had it right the first time. Back to Blood Razor. Um, so, that's sort of interesting. Um, Sated Devourer was an like, interesting item, or Devourer was an interesting-ish item. I can kind of see why they're getting rid of it. I mean, it was just... I don't know, it was farm jungle central and you, people would just sit in the jungle forever and they would actually scale into something pretty scary. But I mean, come on, if you want to play, you know, PvE all day in the jungle, you just go play World of Warcraft or something. But anyway, I did actually enjoy the item on Kindred, personally. I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, it's gone or it probably will be gone. Being replaced by uh, <laughs> Blood Razor, which, you know, the naming convention they've kept. Uh, next up, let's get rid of this whole razor thing. We have Rage Blade right here. If you guys want to see the old Rage Blade stats, or currently as they exist on live, that's it right up there. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. Compare it to the new one. New uh, Rage Blade is actually way more expensive, um, and I can kind of see again why they changed uh, Rage Blade. If you, incidentally, if you guys want sort of a context post by right, I'll put that in the description below for both the razor and Woodsu's um, Rage Blade. But, yeah, I mean, the old Rage Blade was pretty wonky. Um, it was, like, really good in certain circumstances and, like, kind of not so good in certain circumstances. Uh, I'm thinking mainly, like, Jax would get really good with it. And then Riot also talks about how it was just kind of a strange item in terms of it, it sucked building into. And, yes, it did. I absolutely hated, like, the build path for it. Um, not that the new build path is any better. I mean, it's, it's arguably worse. But, uh, anyway... Uh, and then there was like this huge power spike once you got it, and then there was like this weird low percentage ratio on all the attacks when you got the rage thing, and it just kind of seemed like an interesting item, but at the same time very poorly thought out. Like, almost like an old school item. Incidentally, weird that, you know, kind of, they're bringing back the old school item in the razor, but getting sort of the clunky old mechanics of the new rage blade. Anyway, uh... Perhaps uh, the other important factor to note here is that uh, Gwinsu's Rage, the, the whole thing when you get the stacks, uh, that has oh, I'm getting knocked off the thing. Well, it doesn't really matter. You can still see the item here. Um, Gwinsu's Rage, every other basic attack will trigger on hit effects an additional time. So it's getting like Sated Devourer's old thing, kind of. Some strange stuff shuffling around, uh, being shuffled around here. In terms of the numbers, um, as you can see, the stacks are weaker, or rather, the stacks are the same, but you can, like, you get less stacks, but they stack up more quickly, but melee attacks only grant one stack. Now, you might note that right there it says stacks up to six times melee attacks grant one stack. I'm not sure if that means it doesn't stack with range anymore. I, as far as I know, it still does, and that's just a tooltip clarification for now or something, because the old one obviously stacked, um, you got two attacks, or you got two stacks per melee attack. Um, so I'll, I'll go test that later, and if that doesn't work with ranged or there's like um some weird issue with that i'll post something in the description below if you don't hear anything back from me don't worry about it, it still works with ranged um hopefully it still works with range because actually um i found uh like i mean this is a fun build i don't recommend you actually do it that much if you're playing seriously but uh, on hit lulu uh is pretty funny and i used to build rage blade on lulu and uh some, some rather interesting effects but anyway that's what we have there uh, you guys can see the exact number changes yourselves and draw your own conclusions from that.
I was never uh, really a huge Rage Blade user, aside from, yeah, very gimmicky builds. I'm just trying to do something amusing. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, the new Blood Razor item seen down here. And the updated Winsu's Rage Blade right there. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you.